Games would look terrible without the game over screens. Of course, we hate seeing them, but they often allow us to restart the game or load the last save. But today, I'll show you how to create a simple game over screen in Unity where you'll be able to express your creativity and add some functionality to your game. Let's start by creating a dark background on top of our game. Right click anywhere in the hierarchy and select UI image. We can manually resize it to fill the entire screen, but the best way to do it is to click on this Anchor Presets button and while holding Alt or Option key, click on this double stretch option. Then rename it to Background and finally set the image color to black with some transparency. Great! Next, time to create a game over text. Right click on the background and select UI Text. I'll start by changing its position and size. Then I'll change its value to Game Over. Select Font. Font size, in my case 32. Alignment to Center Middle. And finally Color to White. Because on the Game Over screens you often see a final score of the game, I'll just duplicate this text, move it a bit down, change its value to something like 10 points, make it a bit smaller and change its color to yellow for example. The last missing puzzle are the buttons. Again, right click on the background and select UI button. I'll simply move it down, change color to also yellow and its text to restart. Don't forget about the font consistency. Finally, just duplicate the newly created button, change its color to blue and its text to main menu. Great! This is already some nice looking game over screen. Now let's code it. I'll click on the background component and then the add component button. Here we'll create a new script called game over screen. Open it. And here, instead of the start and update methods, I'll type public void setup. That gets one parameter, int score, open brackets. That method will be triggered from the other script to open the game over screen. Firstly, to show this screen, we'll need to type game object that set active true. Then we need to assign score to the text. To work with the Unity UI, at the very top type using Unity Engine.UI and then create a new variable public text points text. To modify it in the setup method, simply type points text that text equals score dot to string plus points. Great! We can now test it out. I have a game control script where I'll add a new public variable of the game over screen type called simply game over script. This game over method is called whenever John loses. So let's use it and type game over screen dot setup and pass in points. In my case, max platform. Time to save everything. Go back to Unity and assign points text in game over screen script and game over screen object so background in the game controller script. Lastly, to hide the game over screen at the beginning of the game, simply uncheck background visibility. Let's run the game. Jump a few platforms and here is our wonderful game over screen. It correctly shows points but buttons don't do much, so let's fix that. Back to our game over script, let's start by creating the public methods. Public void restart button and public void exit button. Here we'll be restarting the current screen, but before we can do that, we need to type at the very top using 
unityengine.sceneManagement. Then in the first method, type sceneManager.loadScene and pass in the name of our scene, in my case, game. In the exit button, we'll use the same line, but this time I'll type in a main menu scene. Save everything and in Unity, select both buttons, click on this plus icon in on-click event, drag in the background object and now select for the first button game over screen restart button and for the second one game over screen exit button. Great! Time to test everything out. I'll press play, jump a few platforms, jump off them, and on our game screen, press restart. It works! In fact, when I try that again, we can go even to the main menu I've created in the previous episode. And that's everything I have for you today. If you have any Unity related questions, be sure to ask them in the comments, and maybe I'll answer them in the next video. Also, be sure to join CocoCode Discord and to subscribe for more tutorials. See you around!